Hi! Welcome back! In a previous video, we learned about creating plots using matplotlib. These are the topics that we covered in that video. If you haven't watched it yet or are interested in learning more about these concepts, I'd suggest you check out that video as well. In this video, we're going to be exploring customizing plots using matplotlib. We'll learn how to set labels and titles, um, create legends, move legends around the canvas, and customize colors, line widths, line types, transparency. Um, we'll also learn how to customize marker, um, marker size, marker face color, etc. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we're gonna import um, matplotlib as um, PLT again, just like the last video. And we wanna insert that um, little line to make sure that we can see all the charts. Then we want to import NumPy, because we're going to use that to create our X. Um, so for our X, we want to say np.arrange, um, and then with a 10. So that's just going to be um, the NumPy array from 0 to 9. Um, and then our Y is just going to be that times 2. So um, element-wise multiplication. Um, and this is the same thing that we did in the last video. Um, so I'm going to... Um, kind of go through this next part pretty quickly because um, we went in depth um, in in the previous video. So if you don't really know what's happening right now, I'd suggest you check that out um, as well. And so basically here we're just creating um, object-oriented method of creating a plot. So we're creating an axis and then um, we're setting an X and Y label, as well as the title, um, and then we're just showing the, um, the graph, and it looks pretty much the same as um, what we expected. And now we can kind of see how that looks. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to add a legend to this. So how we're going to do this is um, basically we're just going to copy and paste what we have above, except we're going to add a couple of things. So the first thing that we're going to add is axplot.legend. Um, so this indicates that we want to show a legend. Now we're going to copy and paste this um, plot line so that we can add another line that's a little bit different. So it's going to be x times 3 comma y. And we're going to label this um, ha as uh, x times 3. And then the top one is just going to be x. So when we output this, it's going to have um, a legend at the top. Um, and it's going to indicate that our orange line is the one that's x times 3. And the um, blue line is just normal x. Um, and so what we can do with this is we can kind of move the legend around um, and there are different options so that if the line is in a particular spot, the legend doesn't overlap with the line and things like that. Um, so it really helps us kind of customize it a little bit more. So if we say LOC equals one, then that's going to put it at um, the top right corner. LOC equals two is going to put it at the top left corner. Um, and then LOC equals three puts it at the lower left corner and LOC equals 4 puts at the um, lower right corner. Um, and so the, the easiest thing, or the most common thing, is to say LOC equals 0, because this one lets matplotlib decide the optimal location for the legend. So it makes sure that it won't overlap with any lines, um, that it doesn't clash with the, um, that the, with the uh, scaling, with anything like that. So it's saying that the optimal location is the top um, left-hand corner in this case. Okay, so now we're going to look at how we can kind of customize um, the plot even more by adding some um, colors and some markers and uh, line widths and line types and things like that. So the first thing that we're going to do is just create another figure. Um, and then we're going to add some axes to this figure, which is just our normal 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, and then we're going to start plotting. So in this case, we're just going to do x, comma, x instead of x, comma, y. And our color is just going to be blue. So um, this is how we indicate the color. And it's just going to change the color from um, what it normally is to blue. Um, now we're going to copy and paste this line to see another type of uh, line. And this time, I'm just going to multiply this times 1.5 um, so that it can be differentiated from the top one and it doesn't overlap. So we're going to copy this over and then change um, this color to a custom color. So we're going to use um, hex coding. And so we're going to say D31ED4. And this is just going to give a magenta color. And make sure to put the hash in front of it. Um, 
so as you can see, I did um, x times 1.5, so it is overlapping. Um, but uh, you can make sure that it doesn't overlap by um, saying uh, like x times 2, and then the next one can be x times 2.5 or something like that. Um, and then this alpha one actually makes it transparent, but you can't see that right now because it does overlap. So I'm just going to change this real quick so that um, the lines don't overlap and we can really see the difference between the different lines that we have here. Um, yeah, so as I said, alpha makes it transparent. So we see the same magenta color, but a little bit more transparent. Now the next thing that we're going to do is copy this line, and then um, we're going to change the line width to 1. And so, um, and we're also going to change this color back to blue. So what this line width is going to do is, um, as you can maybe uh, imagine, it's going to decrease the line width to just 1. So it's going to appear a little bit um, more thin than usual. Yeah, so we can see that at the very top, it's a little more thin. Um, and so if we want to make that thicker, then we can do that as well, which is what we're going to do in the next one. And also what we can see in the next one is that um, we don't actually have to write out line width. We can just say LW and that um, indicates that it's going to be line width. And yeah, make sure to change it to 3.5 or um, a bigger value so that you can really see the difference. So yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. Um, the next thing we're going to do is change the line style. So if you can notice in all of these lines, it's just a straight line. But what if we didn't want to change the color, but we still wanted some other way to differentiate? Um, we can change the line style. And we can make it um, these different types of designs. So this one is just going to look like um, a dash and um, a dot, which is what we can see here. Um, and we can also shorten this to LS, just like how we could shorten line width to LW, we can shorten this to LS, and that's what we're going to see in this case. Um, so we're going to, uh, we'll do a colon in this case to see how that outputs, and this one will basically be just um, a bunch of dots. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is... Um, kind of play with markers. So what markers do is um, it puts a kind of dot or whatever marker you choose in each of the locations that um, is really concrete. So if we have x equals 1 and y equals 5, for instance, then it will put a marker there. It won't do it in um, locations that are more decimal uh, related, but it'll put in, in these um, concrete locations with solid numbers. So as you can see, the first time I did a um, plus sign, second time I did a, a circle using an O, and then now I did an S, and I'm also doing um, marker uh, size, which is going to just increase or decrease the size accordingly. So if we put this as 10, it's going to be super big. Um, and then the last thing we're going to explore is marker face color. Um, and this one is basically just going to change the color of the marker itself. And I put green, so it's changing the inside to green, but keeping the outside border is blue. So that's pretty much it. And just as a quick recap, um, we kind of reviewed the same things that we did in the last video. And then we saw how we can move around a legend and create one. And then we used um, some customization to uh, enhance our graph. And we uh, viewed marker color, marker size, marker face color, and then color of line, and then different... Um, line widths and line styles and things like that. Well, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like and comment down below any questions you may have. I've also included a little activity in the description box that relates to the skills we learned in this video, so I welcome you to try that out as well. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that'll help you on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.